Hey everybody, welcome back to our YouTube channel. We decided to do a Q&A, so we put out on Facebook and Instagram, uh, ask us what you wanted to know about our business, so let's get into it. I'm Jessica, I'm the owner of Aspen Grove, and I'm ready to read these questions. your favorite fabric okay I have two favorite fabrics one is the hide because I love the soft snuggle like the lighter fill fabric I love that for summer but I do I fell in love with our new Sonoma it's a new exclusive it is so beautiful so rich it is so soft um, so I would have to say Sonoma is my number one and hide is my number two who makes patterns for plushies? Our lead seamstress, our lead designer, her name is Celeste. She does all the patterns. We kind of come up with them together. I kind of tell her what I want and she kind of does some drawings and then we kind of work it out and then it comes out perfect after a couple tries. I mean, it's not the first try, but after a couple, we usually get it pretty good. How old were you when you started your business? I started my business in 2017 and I was 21 years old. Yeah, 21. This one's from Trisha. How did you get to be so adorable and sweet? I'd have to say my parents. I mean, they're the ones that raised me and had me, so I guess that's how. What is the best and worst part about owning a company? This is from Tracy. I would say the best part of owning a company is, of course, on those lazy days when you're really feeling like you don't wanna work or you're just feeling like you can't work or you just need a day off. You don't really have a boss. You can just take that day off. Um, another thing that I really love about owning my own company is being able to bring in um, my own employees and be able to have my own little family, like my own little, my little sweet spot here at Aspen Grove that I get. And the people that surround me, I love it. I get to choose those people and they're really great. The worst part about um, owning a company, definitely when you have to make hard decisions. Making hard decisions and having to make those, those tough calls and, and doing doing the hard work like that, I think that's probably the worst part of owning a business. How many kids do you have? This is from Taylor. I have three. I have Aspen, Liam, and Hazel. And that's it. How many employees do you have? So this one's kind of a tricky, tricky question because we have 1099 contractors, which is our seamstresses. And then we actually have W2 employees, which is our warehouse of people. So, Technically, in employees um, in the warehouse, we have around 100, but in seamstresses, that varies. Every season, it goes up and it goes down depending on kind of the demand that you guys need. So I would roughly say we stay around like 90 to like 150. Why have you decided to discontinue or limit prints? This is from Cindy. This is a great question. I just don't like the base fabric. I think that it was really thin and it wasn't very comfy and it didn't look very good. And so I really am working with my suppliers to become like to get a bigger, fluffier base fabric um, to get like a three millimeter or something like a minky on minky instead of like the one millimeter. It is coming. They're coming back. We're not we're, we're not discontinuing them. We're just working on getting a better base fabric so that you guys can have a better deluxe blanket. We're also working on redesigning the deluxe so that you don't see the raw edge on the corner and it doesn't fray and it doesn't come apart. So um, good things are coming with the prints. Are you ever going to open a store from Tammy? How do you choose your charitable efforts from Cindy? I choose them what, what's based on what I, that's like close to my heart. So when we did the Buddy for Comfort for the families here in Utah, I really wanted to do local families, um, military families, people that were in need because um, at that moment with COVID going on, I just felt like that's, that's where I needed to do, like where I needed to give. And then the year before we did it at the Cancer Society or the, Can the Huntsman Cancer Institute, um, and my dad had cancer and that's really close to my heart. And so I think I usually choose things that um, are meaningful or that I really, that I really want to get back to. How many exclusives will you be launching this year uh, from Cindy as well? Um, we have a lot actually. I would say between like 20 and 30 we have coming. We have a lot of uh, exclusives coming. You're gonna be super excited to see them. Do seamstresses ever come up with designs? 
Yes, yeah, so um, we do a Christmas design competition where the seamstresses are um, able to bring us designs that they think will look good. Um, and then they get to get into a competition to win. Like last year it was a serger that they could win. And we had about 10 people bring in stuff. So yeah, they do design sometimes. What is your, is your whole backstory from Julie? My whole backstory, that goes back five years, you guys. Um, we're gonna do a video. So this this year is five years for Aspen Grove. We're gonna do a video. We're gonna go back. We're gonna tell the whole backstory um, as much as I remember. So watch for that video, coming soon. When are you opening customs? Oh, from Ant, great question. We really wanna open customs, guys. It's just really hard when the amount of people that we get, it it's, it's like 100 to 300 customs in one go, and it's really hard to do all of those. So we're trying to figure out a better custom situation, and then we'll open them as soon as we can. Why did you decide to become a business owner from Kathy? Great question. I actually really didn't decide. Um, my dad had gotten cancer, and we needed extra money, and it kind of fell in my lap, and I became a business owner. So I didn't really decide, but I love it. I love it so much. With so many blankets coming in, how do you check them all? Check them all from Martha. Um, we have we have inventory like quality control checkers that come in every time a seamstress comes in and they work with them, they check their blankets. Um, and then it also gets checked in shipping and from our auctioneer. So it gets checked a lot of times. So how did you come up with the name of your company from Miranda? So we used to be called Cuddle Me Up Boutique, but I decided to change the name and I really wanted to name it after my daughter Aspen. And so after some time of thinking with my dad, we decided to name it Aspen Grove because a grove of aspen trees, actually an aspen is a fungus and um, they grow in big groves and they're really hard to cut down. You can't cut them down. You keep cutting them down and they'll just keep popping up and growing up. And so I just felt like every time that people were going to try to chop us down, we just keep coming up and, and getting bigger and, and better. And I just felt like that was like the perfect name for us. How do you stay motivated from Sky? Sometimes it's really hard, especially on those lazy days, but um, coming into work and seeing my employees' faces and seeing my customers on my lives, they really keep me motivated. And I would also say my kids at home when I wake up and see my kids, I really, my family didn't grow up with like a, a lot of money. And so we didn't get to do a lot of vacations and things like that. And so I really want to be able to to give that to my kids and then eventually when I get older and they're older they're going to have um, some money or some kind of like like a house or something from me that that can really start them off with their journey in life that my parents were able to do for me so that's what keeps me motivated what's your favorite ride at Disneyland from Brooke <laughs> this one was a struggle but I think it's the Guardians of the Galaxy I used to hate it when it was um, Tower of Terror I hated it so so much you guys it made me sick I didn't like it it was scary I didn't like it but when they made it Guardians of the Galaxy I love Chris Pratt it was so much fun it made it just a whole different ride and I really love it now what do you do in your off time from Miranda um, Amanda sorry Amanda um, what do I do in my off time uh, I either sleep or hang out with my kids I mean I really that's basically what I do where do you see your company in five years from Amanda? Big things are coming to Aspen Grove and I really hope in the next five years that um, we continue to grow and add more products and add more people and I hope that um, like Aspen Grove could be like a $30 million business in five years. That would be amazing. What do you think is the number one reason customers buy your product from Emma? I think the number one reason is that our quality is impeccable and also our designs uh celeste our design team and celeste they make amazing designs and i don't think you can find them anywhere else i think it really sets aspen grove apart the designs the plushies the stuffies the blankets and i think that that's the number one reason they buy from us if you were not in this job what would you do from abby probably still be an entrepreneur um when i was a kid i would do anything to make money I would mow lawns, I would make these like little um, foam pencils at school and sell them for 50 cents. I would um, make these little things out of beads and sell them all around my neighborhood. I would sell candy bars. I would sell anything I could just to make a couple bucks. So yeah, I think that I would still 
be an entrepreneur somehow, some way. Um, if it wasn't in the Minky world, I'd still do it somewhere, somehow. What is the retreat date from Bailey? Uh, August 4th, 5th and 6th is the retreat. Tickets coming soon. What is the most used app on your phone from Stacy? TikTok. I have been using tickle TikTok like crazy. I have been making videos. I have been posting videos. I have been trying to do lots of things on TikTok. So yeah. So make sure you're following us on TikTok. Make sure you go follow us on TikTok. Aspen Grove on TikTok. I think I'm funny. Last question. Knowing what you know now, is there anything you would have done differently when you first started the business from Sydney? It would be extinct. I wouldn't have started the business. Just kidding. No, <laughs> if there was anything I would do different five years ago, um, I would have trusted myself a little bit more and ran with it when I could. Instead of being scared and holding back, um, I would have made bolder and bigger decisions and just went for it from the beginning. Um, I'm doing that now and I wish I would have done it five years ago. I think it would have brought us further, um, faster, but yeah, that's the only thing I think is making those bolder, braver moves. Thank you guys for joining my q and I'm so glad that you guys are here. Make sure you guys watch us on Friday, every Friday here on YouTube. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. We're posting all the time, every day. We're doing lives on Facebook. And yeah, so have a good day, bye.